Jumping into a swimming pool sounds pretty good right about now. Yeah. Scott, we are waiting for fall. We, we, we are, are waiting down. for fall. It, it's the countdown's on a couple more weeks to the official start for us of fall. But man, has it been hot out there, Doug and Gilmo. So yeah, I'd jump in the pool right now as well. Temperatures above average. Here's the Fort Worth Sky Cam time lapse showing that in downtown Fort Worth today, a lot of sunshine if you were going to Sundance Square and hopefully you were inside in some air conditioning because we are pretty warm. Denton right now, you can't see UNT. Plenty of blue sky also greeting you as you're stepping on out of the door. You're stepping out to temperatures in the uh, mid 90s to even the upper 90s and triple digits in a couple of spots. Barely a cloud in the sky. Athens, you're at 101. We have 96 in Tyler right now. Bonham, you're sitting at 95. Paris also sitting at 95. Now, the dew points, that measure of the moisture in the atmosphere, has dropped to the low 60s to the upper 50s. That's why, yes, it is hot, but does it feel too bad stepping outside? That's going to switch just a little bit going into tomorrow. Now, looking on the wide view of the satellite and the water vapor, you're able to see where you have this lighter orange color that indicates some dry air. So let's put this into motion. You can see a lot of moisture down towards our south and west. We still have some dry air in the upper levels pulling down to the southeast. So we're seeing that on that northwest flow. We'll start to see some of this moisture then return back into North Texas. So today, with those light winds and the warm temperatures, though, we did have an ozone action day. It's in the code orange for us, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups to so stay inside through the remainder of the afternoon hours. Overnight tonight, we're down to the mid 70s. Tomorrow, yeah, I had to do it. We're up to 100 degrees. Sunny skies on the way with our winds out of the east southeast near about 5 to 10. So today, about 98 degrees, and then going into tomorrow, we'll see about 100 degrees. And then into Saturday, same story, about 101 in the forecast. So a hot start to the weekend, possibly 102 in Bonham to 102 in Sulphur Springs, maybe some of our eastern counties up to 103. So we'll keep our eyes on that, and really no rain in sight for us here in North Texas. A lot of rain, a lot of severe weather as well as Dorian can. Continues to track its way to the north northeast. You see, here's Myrtle Beach, that center of circulation, very close to Myrtle Beach, by about 45 miles south southeast of Myrtle Beach, with winds sustained at 105. So it's moving northeast at 10. We'll continue that going into tonight, into tomorrow morning, very close to the outer banks through the day tomorrow into tomorrow afternoon, and then back out over the open water. And then finally, by the time we go into Monday and Tuesday, just dying out, and we won't have to talk about Dorian anymore with an active system. We are going to be seeing not. A lot of active weather for us here in North Texas, but I do have a cool down on the way. Next Wednesday and Thursday, I'm only forecasting 94, which is just two degrees above average. Break the jackets out.